Hello everyone! Welcome to a, not Sunday Funny, but Rantings and Ravings. I know I did one last week that was over a kind of controversial subject, and this time I'm giving my two cents on something else. But hey, I have Megan here. You can be mad at her too. No, I just, no, just be mad at her. Throw me on the bus. Yeah, threw us both under the bus. <laughs> so here, let's both jump in. Yeah, we're gonna talk about the one thing I've been seeing cropping up on the internet lately, and it's really becoming a thing. Hell, it's it, a trend that just the why? Yeah, it's, why is this thing? It's even being reported in Entertainment Weekly, and it kind of just doesn't make sense to me. And it's Screen Rant. Yeah, I mean these. Well, the screen rant's not exactly as reputable as Entertainment Weekly, and still Entertainment Weekly. Though they're a little bit more geared towards the actual, like, entertainment aspect of Hollywood, not so much the paparazzi aspect, like Us Weekly or shit like that. But they're taking and running with what one gentleman said during Comic-Con recently, which all has to do with Pennywise. And now it started to involve the Babadook. I th actually I think he and started with Babadook and Freddy Krueger. Yeah, well, we learned it also kind of deals with Freddy Krueger, and that is them being gay horror icons. Or horror gay icons. Yeah. It's like, again, why? Why is this a thing? What? Yeah, I'm baffled by this. And here's the reason why. In fact, one gentleman I've always followed, in fact, I've started following me more on Twitter, his name is Alex Jowski. He is actually a gay gentleman. If he, if you're thinking, oh, I outed him, no, Alex is openly gay. He's a, in fact, he even makes jokes at his own expense because of it. He spoke about this as well and said, this is fucking stupid. Which I think we can both say, uh -huh. this is fucking stupid. And I think we can all agree the reason why. They're not good people. In fact, they're they're the monsters. And they're monsters for a... Supernatural John Wayne Gacy's. Or at least Pennywise is. Yeah. Alright, to give all of you younger gay people, you know, those who are teenagers who are just coming into your own sexuality, who don't remember the 90s or 80s. Or maybe have not been educated on the 60s and 70s. Not exactly a good time to be, you know, a gay person. Or even the 80s or 90s. Yeah, right? 80s, especially during the AIDS outbreak. Yeah. Gay people were not seen as anything. Like, people right now really try to say, Oh, well, gay people are really offended or crushed down upon. There's still a lot of pointless hatred. Like, mm -hmm. anybody who wants to oppose gay marriage... Simply because it's an abomination. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Or they're like, well, this will mean guys will be able to marry their cows. And then, <laughs> can we have a? Can we have more than a comment separating bestiality and gay people? I say, in the words of Billy Ball, evil can evil can have made that leap. Yeah. But gay people, for the most part, are coming out of the closet no longer being as easy or as openly shunned as they used to because it used to be that a lot of gay people were seen as sexual deviants yes. they were seen as child molesters child yeah. predators even to an extent yeah. simply because of the fact that they were gay regardless of the fact that a mass majority of actual well, gay men, because let's just face it, that's what it's focused on. It's not about lesbians or anything, because it's gay men. We're mm -hmm. seen as simple child predators. All of them were just blanket statement, just decried this. Yeah, for some reason, lesbians are far more accepted. It's like, you don't get to be turned on by lesbians and then turn around and say they can't get married. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> like... It's like, uh, he was a hypocrite. It's like, that's so hypocritical. <laughs> it is hip so hypocritical, it makes me go... <laughs> But because of that particular image, gay people fought against it. Rightfully so. They fought against this idea of being labeled as monsters. Yes. Being, 
abominations, like you said, sexual deviance, or even this idea that um, gay guys are pedophiles. Simply because they are gay. Though, uh, like, let's just admit it, most of the actual pedophiles, it's not about being gay, it's about being powered. Some yeah, it is, but it's a small... Even if little boys are their particular preference, preference they actually identify as straight. Yeah, and again, if anybody knows anything about sexual conquest or anything like that, it's about power. It's not about their sexuality. Yeah, that's exactly what rape is all about and molestation. Yeah. So, the idea that, you know, like gay people have had to fight against this is horrible. And they fought, and really, that's the thing. I wouldn't say that there are gay people who really have to deal with this on a daily basis. Like, if they had to do it on a daily basis, it's because they hang around that hardcore Christian person they probably shouldn't be friends with. <laughs> or that hardcore Muslim person. Let's just face it, Muslims are just as bad as those Christians can be at times. Yeah. I say yes, because if you are not surprised, I'm a Christian. At least I identify as one, technically. So, I, re I realized, I spoke about my religion. But that's just my own thing. I don't care if you believe whatever you believe. I don't care as long as you don't hurt your people. That's all I get shit about. Obviously, when he's saying there are good Christians and bad Christians, just like there are good Muslims and bad Muslims. No, he's not bad Muslims. There's good atheists and bad or, atheists. Or we get a bunch of hate mail. Yeah. <laughs> he's not doing that. It's like, okay. Just Muslims can be just as bad as the worst Christians at it. Well, bad Muslims can be just as bad. Let me put words. In extreme right. Muslims can be just as bad as extreme Christians. Yeah, any extremism is terrible. That's yes, what I many fully believe. Just... It doesn't even have somebody who believes I in mean, religion. Just look at Antifa. Mm, yeah. Like, <laughs> them like, trying to protest the KKK. Right motives, but it's like the way you went about it. Sorry. It's like, wow, you're not you're not proving yourself right in this. You're yeah. not proving them wrong, but you're not proving us that we should give a shit about what you say. Mm -hmm. But that's near here nor there. That's a whole other kettlefish. Yeah. Like I said, gay people don't have to deal with that stereotyping anymore. And that's that's a humongous win. But now they want to cling upon the idea of like, oh, I like horror movies and I'm gay. So I want my horror gay icon, I guess is the way to put it, to be a child molester. Well, child molester, like Freddy Krueger and a child murderer or a child eater yeah child though there cannibal. is you know possible ideas since he does take the form of pennywise he takes the form of uh what's her face's dad beverly yeah he can take the form of people and he can be a molester himself or he could just molest people or to prey upon their fear he can do anything he really wants to yeah. Or like the Babadook, who, which I haven't watched the movie. I have it on my Netflix queue, though I'm uh, kind of worried because it's not very well liked by most normal people. Critics love it. Humans don't. I, I haven't seen it either, so. Yeah, I will sit down eventually and watch it. Just, I won't. <laughs> time. Just time. I have no time. <laughs> but I am. I applaud gay people for wanting to find a character to relate to. Yeah, it's, it's totally understandable, especially since, you know, as it's been pointed out numerous times, gay people are not really represented in media. Yeah. In various, you know, movies and shows and what have you. Not without being stereotyped or anything like or that. Or just, like, have a token gay character or just, like, you know, a token black character. Yeah, or and a token, a, token character. I was say, that's another, um, that's another group that kind of underrepresented, but that's, yep. that's a whole other... Kettlefish. Again, that's a whole other kettlefish. Again. But, but. I don't get it. It's like, if I would want to identify with any of the killers or anything, like if you, first off, why are you going to identify with the, the villains of the movie? I mean, that's yeah. the thing. I mean, the one thing was a Disney villain. It's like, okay. Yeah, because they it. do try to at least make their villains a little less one-dimensional, for the most part. They're, yeah, they're usually not monsters, like uh, pedophiles. Penny, they're not Pennywise. They're not Freddy Krueger or the Babadook. These are straight up, they are monsters, and they're not just monsters that are misunderstood or anything like that. They are evil. Pennywise makes no qualms about his the fact that he's evil. 
the Babadook, I mean, sure, it's a little bit more shrouded mystery, but it is quite understood that it is evil. Freddy Krueger revels in the fact that he's evil. Yeah, because he's like a demon or something. Uh, he's a guy who made a pact with the demon, and because of that, now he can haunt the dreams of children. Not only that, but again, Freddy Krueger's a freaking pedophile! Th yeah, all because of Nightmare on Elm Street 2, which, from what you said, we tend to ignore. Yeah, I mean... I love. Yeah, it's the stupidest way to ever defeat Freddy Krueger. And Freddy got defeated a lot of really stupid ways. Being defeated by an unborn child through the powers of dreams, and because he was able to control the powers that Freddy was giving him, makes my brain go, ah. That's dream child. This, Nightmare on Elm Street 5, arguably the worst of the actual mainstream ones, that I, since I still don't include 2. Because <laughs> it's the most asinine of them all that you're like, I don't know what's going on here. Well, personally, I've only ever seen the first one and the remake, so. And third. I showed you uh, Dream Warriors. Oh, yeah. Dream Warriors is awesome. I love Dream Warriors. Right amount of horror, right amount of comedy, and right amount of really pushing the boundaries of what you can do, which I love. But, that's near here or there. And like I said, I am fine with people trying to find a character that they, they can relate to. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, that's Jason. Totally makes sense. I would totally understand people wishing to ship him as more of a gay icon character. Yes, he's a murderer, but he's not doing it simply because he's actually killing people because he was a, he was let go or allowed to be bullied by counselors who didn't give a shit. That's a lot more of a symbolic, you know, thing you can look into more than Pennywise, who is the epitome of evil, well, who is, whose antithesis is a turtle, which doesn't make any sense in my brain. But, I think there's kind of grounds for it in, like, mythology or something, but... I don't know. It makes my brain hurt. I, I have it. to look at it later. <laughs> but, but like I said, why not Jason? Out of all the characters, I mean, well, there's no things to showing that he's outright gay, but that's the thing. That's what gay people want, right? You don't want this obviously, like, flaming, hello! That's over the top and kind of stereotypical and kind of rude. Mm. That's like to have every black character say brother. Or homie. Or use the N-word. Yeah, it's like, ooky. I mean... What you want out of a character is not somebody who fits into a mold. You want them to be a little bit more of something that maybe you can look into and put a little of yourself into it. Making a monster who's outright evil your icon, your pillar of, I guess, gayness? I don't know a good way to put it. I'm sorry. Just because he's a little flamboyant does not necessarily make him gay. And, and even then, he's not flamboyant, except for the fact that he revels in how he murders. Yeah, it's just... At least Jason, like I keep saying, it's like there's so much that could be seen better and be used as symbolism towards a progressive gay movement. I mean, there's so much there, actually. The only character who, like, I'm fairly certain... Like a horror uh, villain who is actually probably gay. Though I wouldn't, still wouldn't count him as a horror icon. Mm -hmm. uh, Norman Bates. He's a uh, transsexual. Or not transsexual, but he's seen as... Transgender? Yeah, transgender. Because of his own uh, mommy-daddy issues. Though, again, that's not always the most positive role model that or icon somebody could use because of the fact that... Takes a very broad stroke look at things. I say he still kills people. Yeah, I mean even with Jason, he still kills people. But at and least his dead mother. Like yeah, but like I said, it's like if you're gonna choose anybody who's going to be your, you know, your icon. Your this is this shows you know how we wish to be represented or we wish to be seen better in horror movies. I guess. Like pretty much as your gay role model. Yeah. Why not a Jason? Because you'd rather Pennywise, who's a fucking f monster, who is straight out evil? At least Jason has some stuff we can agree with him on. We can go, yeah, we kind of think the counselors deserve it at times. Not only that, but 
to be fair, it's like Jason, he's eventually just kind of, he loses his mind about it. And people keep getting in his way. Just get out of his way, people. Just let him go do what he's waiting to do. <laughs> Maybe he just wants to go to the store and pick up some Pringles. He's really into Pringles. He wants some. Right, he's actually just trying to get some milk. Yeah, who knows? I mean, like, come on, just a lot of milk for a cereal. People can get in a damn way. Yeah, or maybe he wants some sugar cane. What do you think the machete's for? <laughs> oh, it's just... I don't get this idea of people... These characters to... are not misunderstood. They are straight up monsters. They are straight up evil. Yeah. And it's like... It's like, y'all really want to look up to these characters as your gay icons? As your gay role models? It's, I mean, it's like, it's taking the whole movement back, like, decades. Like, just setting it back. Hey, well, you know, gay people, what we're really like, we're like Pennywise or Freddy Krueger. Then you got the or actual re regular person who goes, whoa, what? <laughs> so it's like, wait, 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 you're pedophiles? I'm going to go tell this to all my Christian friends who scream this anyway, so that way they can scream it from the rooftops. I mean, Noel Finch, you're feeding into what they want. Yeah, I the, think... The extremists, in all essence. Yeah, like, I think we can agree that the people who are doing this are the gay millennials. <laughs> yeah. Well, and some of the straight ones, too. But it's mainly the millennials, our generation. It's like, yeah, the gay baby boomers... They fought long and hard to get past these stereotypes to be accepted for who they are. To Just to be seen as somebody who, hey, I happen to like people the same sex. That's what they wish like, to I, be I, I don't love quite like y'all love. I love, you know, you know, this guy or this girl. You know, yeah. Even though I am a guy or I am a girl. But instead now we have... Oh no, we want to be like Pennywise because he's gay. And like, what? It's like, did you not pay attention to the movie? Did you not read any of these the undertones? Actually, I've heard of trying to put in your own symbolism with shit, yeah. but holy hell, did you miss the point? Yeah, I was also gonna say, um, you mentioned the whole gay rights movement. Yeah, like they fought to. Like, they're, they're still kind of fighting. Like, obviously, the whole gay marriage thing. But, it's like, you know, on top of that, you have the transgender people now, you know, trying to join the fight. And it's like, y'all want to just, you know, set this whole movement back. It's like, d d just sit down and shut up. And not because you're gay, just because you just... Because you don't know what you're talking about. That's exactly. just what it is. It's like... I don't care if you're gay or straight. It's like, you just don't know what the hell you're talking about. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. You just... It's like, really? It's like... You know, actually use your brains. Stop, you know, get off your smartphone for a second and actually use your damn brains. Yeah. I mean, this would be as bad as if people tried to ship the Cenobites as gay whore icons. I love the Cenobites and I love their looks. And there's a lot of subtle tones about the poss that being a small possibility. But I'm pretty sure Clive Barker's idea is about, is that they're uh, extreme excess that's pretty much what they are extreme fetishes you don't want that to be what you're really that, hey y'all want to see what gay people are like in horror here the most extreme to the far left as you could possibly fucking go and then you just got all the actual normal people going oh my god what is wrong with you then if this is what you look up to and i know yeah, this goes back to the whole gay stereotype of uh you know being Deviance. Yeah, being sexual deviance, very, you know, sexually indulgent and, you know, you know, Roman orgies are pictured. Are yeah. Imagined. And, uh, well, I, I just don't, I hate to keep saying that, it's just things like, I just don't get why this is who, no offense, most millennial gay people wish to use as their icons. Like I said, a Jason makes a lot more sense, especially since he is a bullied kid yeah. or a bullied teenager simply for being different. Yeah. That difference doesn't always have to be just looks. That difference could just be, oh, well, maybe he's a little quiet. Maybe he likes boys, you know, maybe he actually maybe asks one boy, like, hey, you know, maybe it's like, hey, I like you, you know, and the other boy turned him in or in a way, I guess it's saying. 
you know, and because of these kids bullied him and ended up murdering him. I mean, that's a character you can get a lot more behind. Hell, in a way, the thing from John Carpenter's The Thing. I know I'm using 80s, you know, characters and all that, but dear God, we haven't had any good ones that you can use that have come up in the past 10, 15 years. But at least with, like, John Carpenter's The Thing, it was, it may be not really a monster, but it was just a creature, and it was misunderstood. Yes, it was killing people, but that's because it didn't know what it was doing. It didn't know what was going on, and it was just protecting itself. That makes for a lot more powerful of a message than it does, oh, hey, we're totally like this clown that really makes you think of John Wayne Gacy. Mm-hmm. That, that's the thing. It's like, that's the reason why the Pennywise, like, one, I didn't care for the look. It's like, okay, the creepiness straight up just destroys the idea of him taking on this clown persona, because it's a clown. I was saying, Mooney... It's like, he does come off creepy. I will give him that. Mm -hmm. But it's not a scary kind of creepy. Like, he actually seems like a threat. He seems more like a pedophile. Is that That's the creepy vibe he gives off. It's like... Because he looks to me like a John Wayne Gacy. Yeah. And I get that's the idea, but... Why would that be what you would want to ship? Why would that be a thing? You would want... It's like, oh, this is what I want to look up to when it comes to horror movies. Mm-hmm. It's like, look up to somebody who's more misunderstood or somebody who's, you know, they are protecting themselves, but they take it way too far. Anything like that. Hell. Or maybe they, you know, go on a killing spree, but maybe just kill bad people. A uh, death bad. wish. A sort of example, even though you would have to severely churn off the volume because there's a whole lot of different stuff in there that... Obviously, it has nothing to do with, you know, him killing people because he's gay or he's protecting himself from being bullied. Or hell, what about if y'all wish to take up somebody It's not really a horror icon, but somebody who you could champion in terms of a horror film, more of a thriller, I spit on your grave, even the remake, which I don't much care for as much. This is a woman who was, who, her sexuality is not explained, it's not, you know, said or spoken upon. You know, she might actually be a lesbian. And she's raped by these four guys. I'm going to say it's four guys. It might be three guys. I'm going to really say it's four. And, you know, she's abused. She's left for dead. But she gets her revenge. And it's one of the best damn movies ever. If you ever watched a really rough movie, but it has one of the best payoffs, the original Spit on, I Spit on Your Grave is fantastic. Warning, it's, yes, it's very rough. You just want to see a movie about pretty much uh, Rosalie from... Yeah, I still want to see that. About her getting raped by her fiancé and his guy or his buddies. And, and left for dead and then getting turned into a vampire. And, and, and goes around and just murders them all. I want that movie so bad. I, I bite on your grave. I totally <laughs> name it that. And I would just have a smile. Just, yes, this is happening. <laughs> but, Yeah. Yeah, we can totally understand, even though we are straight, we can totally understand wanting to find characters that you identify with, especially if you're part of a group that is uh, particularly under... Uh, Represented. Yes. Thank you. Um, yeah, like, I understand that. But, you know, I can more understand, like, say, with Harry Potter. You know, people trying to ship, you know, Harry and Draco. You know, whether you identify with Harry or identify with Draco... As a gay person, I I can understand that. It's like, I mean, even Draco's like he's a little he's not really totally evil. He's a little snot, but he's he's just what he is. He's he's a more of a misunderstood character yeah. and more of a character who even there is a lot more there. You could see if you wish to put in your own like ideas that he doesn't understand himself and he's you know, looking to figure out himself. Yeah, if you want to identify with those characters. <clears throat> I don't see a problem with that. Even though it's not officially canon, but whatever. Mm, yeah, <laughs> but to be fair, like what I'm talking about with Jason, it's not canon. Well, yeah, but I'm just saying it's like, you know, it's like, I, ugh. basically I'm just trying to say that I understand identifying, you know, with Harry and Draco or Draco or Harry or, you know, or whatever, and, you know, wanting to ship them. That, I can understand. 
a pretty much pedophile, like... Pedophilic creature or a child murdering creature. Yeah, I was like, that, that's what you want to identify with? It, you, it sounds like you need some serious help at that point. It's like, yeah, especially... I'm sorry, I'm stepping on your toes a little. Oh, I'm done. Especially when you think about the fact that early on, like 70s, 60s, a lot of gay people weren't even allowed to teach. Yeah. Simply because, oh, well, they're going to break the kids. What the hell? Why would that ever come in their mind? Why would they care about yeah, that? Yeah, shunned from their community in general. It's like, you know, we're trying to go back to that. It's like, yeah, it's like, they, it's like so many gay people fought against this, are still fighting against this to this very day, but you want to use it as your championing cause? What? Again, it's mm -hmm. I don't get it. I Maybe I'm stupid. I know I probably am, but like I said, if you're going to use anything as your, like I said, if you really want to champion and you want it to be the villain, I don't know why you'd want it to be the villain, but cool. I understand. Disney villain. Disney yeah. Awesome. But, you know, why not, like I've said, a Jason, the thing from another world, you know, the actual creature. Or as you even said, like, if you want to use Harry Potter, you know, use Draco. He actually makes a lot of sense. As, you know. Yeah, or even, you know, Snape or Lucius or something. Yeah. Or like with Dumbledore. Don't give a shit. Yeah. Fucking care one way or the other. That's fine. But, you know, if you want to use somebody as your, you know, pillar of showing yeah, hate. Yeah, as just, your, you know, gay icon, your gay role model. Try to not let it be a fucking monster of the worst order you could choose. Again, don't use the Cenobites. That's not a good idea. It's like, oh my god, you totally don't, you missed the point. That would be like if anybody threw a Cenobite themed orgy, it'd be like, wow, you missed the point. Severely. <sighs> oh, I, I don't know. This, like, I wanted to do this video with Megan especially because I'm like, hey, uh, this has been bugging me because I've read about this. I'm like, because one of my friends posted something about it. And I'm like, the fuck. It's like, eh? Yeah. That's my reaction when he told me. It's like, what? Mm. Why? Why? Just why? And even like we've looked it up. There's no good reason. And some people are like, well, it's tongue in cheek. Tongue in cheek would be a lot. Can be used a lot better. Like. Yeah, the bad things like this is a trend. This is something that people are like just. You know, running with. And some people aren't using it very, aren't doing it very tongue in cheek. That's the thing. A lot of people, in fact, I've known a few people that aren't, they are not looking at it very tongue in cheek. They're looking at it very seriously. It's like, ha ha, look, this is my champion, blah, blah, blah. This is my hero I look up to. Whoa! Really? This is your hero? Okay. Yeah, again, I have never seen Babadook. Don't really care. So, like, some people point out that um, the Babadook is in the dark and trying to come into the light. It's like, okay, maybe that thing is a metaphor for, you know, being gay, trying to, you know, come out of the closet or something. I don't know. I don't know much about it, but it's like... But he's oh. only wanting to come out of the dark so he can eat people. Yeah. Uh, that, he's that's, a monster that, that, that seems to be about where the uh, allegory stops. Yeah, that's the worst part. It's like... It would be one thing, but you have to, the only way you can use Pennywise or Freddy Krueger or the Babadook for any type of allegory is you have to completely ignore certain chunks. And yeah. that doesn't work. Like I said, with Jason, at best you have to infer your own things. The Thing, same thing. Draco, same thing. Hell, I've heard people even trying to use the Terminator as one. I'm like... Alright, I know Arnie wouldn't care one way or the other, but he's a machine. Machines don't see straight or they see I was, gay. I would say they're kind of asexual. Yeah. They do have wieners. We do know that much. Yeah, we're only like anatomically correct just to imitate the male, the human form, but that's about it. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. They might actually, might be a sperminator. Who knows? 
we have had a running Sperminator joke outside of these videos for about a good hour and a half now. I think I gotta go home and write that fanfiction. <laughs> Watching him play uh, Neo Geo Last Resort, it's like, those look like sperm. They look like my chunks. Giant middle sperm. I am the butt sperminator. Wow, this got weird. Yeah, I went from Randy Raving to, well, that's just silly. <laughs> to be fair, that's us. In yeah. a nutshell. It's hard for us to be angry for long. Yeah. We just crack ourselves up. Well, this is something truly aggravating. Like, this is more just, I, I almost like a gay people, just, honey, please, <laughs> just find a better role model. Well, that'd be like saying, my role model for how I base my life is showing my gay scene. Whoa, what? <laughs> It's like, you know, no. Or, or if you, like, look up to, uh, like, Ted Bundy or, you know, any of those other serial killers, like, you need help. Yeah, it's like, all right, I know a doctor here. And he's going to help you out so well. Might give you a jacket and, like, let you hug yourself, but. He's like, I'm pretty. Oh, but yeah. Sorry, y'all. Just find something more positive. Mm -hmm. And I don't even mean it has to be an actual positive horror villain, but just look somewhere else, please. Yes. If it's going to be a monster, at least look deeper into things just ever so slightly. Yes. Like I said, Freddy Krueger, they only want to use Friday the 13th, or Friday the 13th, Nightmare on Elm Street 2, simply because of one thing the coach does, and even then, it's pretty much said that he's a pedophile. Oh, why? Why is that then what you want to go with? Oh, besides the fact, he's still obviously he's not gay because Frey was able to be defeated by the power of the love of a woman, mm -hmm. and he's a guy. <laughs> so booyah! I destroy your gay icon. And again, he's a pedophile. Yeah, it, it it's, like, it's straight up said in the remake, and it's heavily implied in the others. Yeah, he's like before he got killed, he was a pedophile. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's really much you want to look up to. Exactly. <laughs> so yeah, try and look for something else, please. Please, all, please, everybody who believes this. I know you want to try and be cute. It's not cute. It's actually kind of damning, in a bad way. And all kinds of creepy. Yeah. It's like you need professional help. Mm-hmm. I'd be like somebody who goes up to you and says that they're, they're person they look up to that helps to guide them through life is Hitler. Do not be friends with that person anymore. Immediately run away and tell the authorities. I was like, report them to the authorities. They need to be locked up. Mm -hmm. Those are the people you don't even like slowly back up from. Those are the people you literally, they, they say that, you spin around and you run the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. It's like, okay, but... He just... What did I say? <laughs> So that'll be this Rantings and Ravings. Might have another one maybe soon because I won't say there's another thing brewing in my brain and that I've been thinking about. Well, besides that dumbass fanfiction we came up with. Yeah, Spabinator. <laughs> that will be my catchphrase for the week. In fact, I might make it my thing at my work for where everybody can see if they message me. Spabinator. Oh, you know, HR would get onto your ass. Kind got on my ass already. But yeah. We'll see what happens more, but in the meantime, gay people, find a good one. Find find a good horror role model. Anybody else would be better. It's like, does it really have to be horror, though? I don't know if you like horror movies. Mm. But even then, it's like, find someone else. Yeah, it's like, just anyone. Hell, even the guy from Christine makes better sense. Even though Christine's still, you know, a obviously female car, but it is, a lot of demons are seen as more male. So there could be a better idea that it's simply speaking to him in a female way, but it's obviously male and it's made him fall in love with it. It's a lot more undertones under that, especially since it drives him from his girlfriend. Alrighty. But yeah, that's our thoughts about it and how it's stupid and insane in the worst ways possible. <laughs> so until then, we'll rant and rave some more on something mm -hmm. else. So bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>